Good morning. Welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina, home of Carolina Aircraft. I'm George Johnson, the Bonanza Man, and today we're here to look at a nice 1978 Bonanza V35B, November 358 Alpha. Let's take a look. November 358 Alpha is a 1978 model, so it has the 24 volt electrical system with the faster landing gear. The airplane only has a 4,020 hours total time since new, and this engine has about 760 hours since major overhaul, and you'll notice it has the nice DeShannon baffle system, it has Millennium cylinders, it has GAMI fuel injectors, and it has a graphic engine monitor that monitors all six cylinders. November 358 Alpha is a great airplane with no damage history and a great maintenance history. The paint, however, is only a 4 on a scale of 1 to 10, so it really needs a paint job. It does have beautiful new gray leather seats and a great Garmin avionics package. The tail on November 358 Alpha is in very good condition. I don't see any hail pings or any paint chips or anything like that. It looks like this tail has been repainted and, and redone, so it's in great condition. It also has the beach tail mod. The airplane's just had very good maintenance. November 358 Alpha has the large cargo door and a very spacious baggage compartment. Let's take a look. You can put up to 270 pounds back here as long as you don't overload the airplane or get it out of CG. This airplane also has a useful load of 1,036 pounds, so with full fuel, which gives you over four hours of flying plus reserves, you can put 600 pounds in the cabin with full fuel. November 358 Alpha has beautiful new gray leather seats. See how nice they look? Also, the sidewalls are in very good condition. The armrests do need to be repainted. The headliner is in good condition. And the carpet is in uh, average to good condition. Overall, it's a very nice interior. And you've got plenty of room back here. I'm almost six feet tall, and I've got plenty of leg room. I've got plenty of head room. I've got plenty of elbow room, and it's almost uh, like sitting in an easy chair in my living room. And these windows are openable back here on the ground to get a little extra air on a hot day like today. One of the nicest things about November 358 Alpha is this beautiful Garmin-equipped avionics panel. Let's take a look. Starting on the pilot side, we have a digital fuel flow, and then we have your airspeed indicator, and then we have your artificial horizon, and this houses your flight director. You'll notice it comes up. And then we have your altimeter. On the second row, we have a two-minute turn coordinator, and then we have a standby artificial horizon, and then we have your King KCS-55A slaved HSI, and this houses your number one nav and number one GPS. And then we have a vertical speed indicator. On the next row, we have your King KFC 200 autopilot flight director slaved HSI system. And this will shoot a fully coupled IFR approach down to minimums. And then we have your number two uh, VOR or nav indicator. This houses your number two nav and your number two GPS indicator. And then we have a WX-10 storm scope. In the center of the panel are all of your engine instruments and your fuel gauges. Down here is your graphic engine monitor, and this monitors all six cylinders, and then you have a normal EGT over here. Now let's take a look at your avionics stack. At the top, we have your King audio panel. This is a King KA-134. And then we have your Garmin GNS 530W with WAS, and this has several nav pages. This first page is your HSI nav page. And then we have a normal nav page. And then we have your traffic page. This has the mode S traffic. And then we have terrain, and since we're on the ground, this will show red. And then we have your satellite and your information, information and satellite pages. Your number two GPS NAVCOM is a Garmin 430, and this again has a couple NAV pages, 
and then your information and your satellite pages. Below this is your Garmin GTX 330 transponder and this is a Mode S transponder and provides traffic information on your Garmin GNS 530W. To the right side of the avionics stack is your intercom system. This has a four place intercom and then we have your instrument air gauge. This is a radar altimeter, but as you can see, it's labeled inoperative and it's not on the spec sheet because the owner does not plan to fix it. The aircraft is equipped with a vertical card compass system, and you'll notice it also has rows and sun visors. The windows and windshield, for the most part, are in good condition. The co-pilot's window is a little bit cloudy from age, but overall the windows are clear and easy to see through. If you want a great buy in a 1978 Bonanza V35B, you need to visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina and take a look at November 358 Alpha. This airplane has great engine time. It has millennium cylinders, GAMI fuel injectors, and a graphic engine monitor, plus a digital fuel flow. It's equipped with the King KFC 200 Autopilot Flight Director Slaved HSI system it has a Garmin package of avionics, including a Garmin 530 with WAS, a Garmin 430, and a Garmin GTX 330 transponder with Mode S traffic. It also has a storm scope and a lot of other great equipment. Visit Carolina Aircraft in Greensboro, North Carolina to see November 358 Alpha, or give us a call at 336-665-0300 and be sure to visit carolinaaircraft.com to see this beautiful Bonanza V35B and all of our other nice Bonanzas and Barons. Have a great day!